Hi, it's Mayor Walter Senzik. It is Monday, February 11th. We have council tonight, so this is the next edition of the Mayor's Report. Just want to say gung hei fat choi for our Chinese community here in St. Catharines across Niagara as they celebrate the Lunar New Year. It's the year of the pig, and so we celebrate with them and wish them a very happy New Year. As well, there's been some winter events that have taken place across our city. For the last little while, we had some, some ice, we had some significant snow, and I just want to say thank you to our city crews for keeping our roads clear and also for the community for helping to clear the sidewalks. And a special thank you to Electra, which is the electrical utilities company that we're part owners of as the city of St. Catharines. And they have done a wonderful job of keeping us up to date. There has been some power outages across the city over the last little while. And if you're interested in following, you can follow them on Twitter, you can, you can check them out on Facebook, and they regularly post when there's outages and when they think that the outages will be back online. So it's a great resource to, to have. As well, you can download the Pink Street, and Pink Street on your app will let you know when a major snow, snow events being prepared in the city of St. Catharines, and when the trucks are out, and some of the updates uh, around that as well. So have that handy on your hand, on, on your handheld. As well, I want to congratulate the Brock Niagara Penguins, and as it's a sitting volleyball team, and what they've done, they've won the first ever silver medal. They play out of the Harriet Tubman. That's where they do their practices, and one of our Former employees, Ali Fast, is the coach, and they brought home the silver medal. So they were part of the Ontario Parasport Games, and congratulations to them. It was exciting to see, so best of luck moving forward. As well, we have some community events. The Boys and Girls Club of Niagara will be holding their annual sweep for kids, which takes place on Saturday, February 16th, this upcoming Saturday. It's held at the Niagara Falls Curling Club, so it's a great Niagara opportunity to get together and curl for kids. As well, the Big Brothers Big Sisters is holding its Bowl for Kids Sake and the, the title sponsor of that is Tim Horton's Franchises here in Niagara. And there's a whole bunch of dates. Check out their website, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and you'll be able to see when teams are playing. Our council team is on, on March 2nd and uh, look forward to bowling at the Parkway Lanes. Completely refurbished, it looks amazing. I can't wait to test out the new bowling lanes there. As well, we have the coldest night of the year coming up, and that's on Saturday, February 23rd. We have our own council team. It's the Gritty Council, led by Greg Miller. Uh, Greg Miller. He's putting together a team, and we hope to see a whole bunch of folks come out to take part in that walk. It raises important funds in our community for Start Me Up Niagara, and all we're looking for is pledges to walk and looking for volunteers and other folks who want to walk with us as well as the State of the City is coming up, and that is on February 13th. That's over at Club Roma. It's part of the Greater Niagara Chamber of Commerce, and it's where I'll be updating the community on the vision for the city and where we're going and all the exciting things that are happening. So you can still get tickets. It's at the GNCC website, and the event will be aired on Your TV Niagara. Family Day is coming up next Monday. A lot of activities in the city of St. Catharines, and so I encourage you to check out the city's website from the Aquatic Center to the museum to the First Ontario Performing Arts Center. There's great things to do in our city, and there's a lot of free events for the family as well. So don't forget to take advantage of that. And on February 25th, we have the next council meeting, and that's where we'll be presenting the St. Catharines Athlete and Sports Person of the Year Awards. It'll be just as part of the council presentations, and the trophies will be displayed at the Meridian Center. So we're looking forward to making those announcements. Uh, it's gonna be exciting to see who we're celebrating this year. So as we move forward in the future, if there is any other significant no, uh, events, weather events in our community, please check out the city's website and the city's Twitter page and the city's Facebook page as we update continuously some of the things that are happening during a weather event. So until then, it's February, stay safe. It's a short month. Spring is just around the corner. I can't wait for spring, but enjoy the weather that we have today and enjoy the family as part of family day and Valentine's is coming up as well. So hopefully you'll be celebrating with your significant other. Until then, have a wonderful day.